What's up, y'all? Y'all already know what it is. It's Bumblebee, your boy's favorite rapper. And I just skipped class with the progress report. Let's get it. The progress report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. This is a new episode of Skipping Class presented by The Progress Report. I got Bumblebee in the building. How are you? Hey, I'm feeling good. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. You hard as hell. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, you were super hard. I was just doing my research, listening to your music. I yes. like the music, but the freestyles is really yeah, good. Yeah, thank you. I, oh, like, I appreciate it. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. So I want you to let the, the folks know, like, how did you get your name, Bumblebee? Oh, man. We go, I go through this all the time. It's crazy because I really don't know. I was young. I remember I had to be at least 12, 13 years old. I remember that, but I don't remember if I named myself that or I had a brother who passed away. Mm. It's like in between, like, I remember him and me. I'm not sure, though. I wish I knew because that's, like, important. And it's like a, you know, a unique name to have. And you would think, like, oh, you should know why your name Bumblebee, but I don't. It's crazy. I got you. <laughs> So talk about being a female growing up in Philly. Like, what was your childhood like? Cause I've never been to Philly. Really? Oh man. Never been there yet. Philly is a rough place to grow up in, but um, I had a great childhood. Very great. I'm sorry, y'all. My voice messed up. I've been busy on the road. I ain't getting no sleep. I got you. So bear with me. So the lower I am, the you know less you hear my voice. <clears throat> but um, it was rough growing up. But I had a great childhood, you know. So. You know, we manage, but in Philadelphia, you know, we have one of the worst crime rates, so. It's just like, you just gotta make it every day, just live, live, so that's all. What type of student were you? Student? Yes. Uh, I was in the middle. I got good grades, but I ain't really listen. Mm. <laughs> like I was smart, they couldn't understand. Like, how you so smart, but you, I was like all over the place. But <laughs> I was, I was, like a te I was the teacher's like favorite, but it was like hard to deal with me a little bit. But I was okay. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Now speaking of Philly, I gotta ask you this. Um, so what was your thoughts when you know Meek Mill interrupted Tank's fight recently? Oh, I was there actually. You was there. You yeah, saw it. Yeah, yeah. I was in DC. Um, I ain't think nothing of it. I mean, I see that type of stuff every day. But it was like a story behind it. You know, he. I don't think Meek Mill's did nothing. You know, it was a, probably a misunderstanding, you know, stuff happened like that. So it wasn't, you know, he didn't get too much out of him. He removed himself, you know, being a bigger person, whatever went on. Even if he was the problem, he removed himself. They finished the fight. It was nice. I liked it, but. For sure. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Had to ask that. Had to ask mm -hmm. that. Now, for you, um, tell me, you know, when did you get into music and talk about your first time recording? Do you remember that? Uh, my first time recording, yes. It was with my brother that passed away. Mm. Rest in peace, Jen. Um, actually, I was young. I grew up on music. My brothers was rappers. Uh, they actually used to, my manager now used to manage my brothers. Um, oh, wow. They was in a group, yes. Shout out to Big Will, my brother, Menace Man. Rest in peace, Jen and my brother, Paolo. Um, he used to manage them. He also used to manage, you know, other artists. So um, I watched them in the house. I, like, I grew up off of rap. I was young, mm. around six, seven years old, you know, just being around it. And it just became something that I just, you know, playing with. And then it was like, oh, I really can rap. I wrote my first rap when I was nine. Um, I recorded probably 12 or 13, my first time recording. It was with my brother who passed away. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, this is crazy. I got you. And yeah, sorry to hear about your brother, man. I know that's, you know, that's, that's a tough one to deal with. Yes. Um, now, the first time that you recorded though, did you like how you sounded? Um, yes, it was fun. I actually did real good because I remember them saying I was on a song with like five people, me, my brother. It was a couple of us. Mm. So, yeah, I, I did pretty good. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. 12 years old. That's young. Yeah, I know. For sure. <laughs> uh, what's your thoughts on the females taking over the rap game now? Oh, yeah, they got it. We, well, we got it in the head. Like, um, I love it. You know, I would love to work with all the artists from the biggest to the, you know, smallest. Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Glorilla, Mulatto, mm. you know, Glitter Gloss. There's just so many female rappers. You know, from my city, Rocky. Shout out to Rocky. Yeah, Rocky going crazy. That's my girl, yeah. We locked in. Me and Rocky, uh, yeah. yeah, we should be working soon. Big China, Naya G, she from Camden. She got it on Smash. You know, so we just running the game right now. Y'all know the niggas ain't hotter than us. I'm telling you, and we write our own music. Okay. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> So yeah, we definitely, we, we definitely coming up. The females definitely, definitely running the game right now. Mm. And I respect it. Shout out to all the female rappers. 
Hell yeah. Yep, yep. I was gonna ask you, like, what other Philly artists have you linked with recently? Um, recently, uh, Lay Banks. Okay. Um, she TikTok. She got TikTok and a chokehold. Mm. She more of like on a party. You know, we come from the party music scene. You know, the Facts. shake hips. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I recently linked with Lay Banks. Uh, we got a banger coming out soon. We got video shoot coming soon. It's gonna be lit. But um, that was like recently. I got a song with O'Malley. Mm. He a part of Dream Chasers. I got a song with Core. He a part of Dream Chasers under Meek Mill's label. Mm -hmm. So it's just you know I got a lot of features too. Whatever artist is this coming. So, you know, I'm just, you know, getting all of it together so I can just drop, drop, drop. But yeah, it's gonna be more too, you know, I love my city. And I just wanna work with, you know, everybody. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of segregation in my city, you know, people in their own world. Mm -hmm. But I just wanna, you know, make music, you know, and just keep going, keep going. Nah, definitely. What's your thoughts on the music scene in Philly now though? Um, it's like, <sighs> It's okay, there's a war going on in Philly. Like, everybody beefing. So it's more of a, Damn. yeah, it's more of a drill type thing. So, mm. you know the drill. But uh, we got it, you know, Philly, I come from like one of the cities, we got like the hottest rappers. So it's like all mixed in from, you know, drill music to people that really rap songs. So, you know, I love my city. Like, yeah. How would you say the hometown support is for you? Um, I got a great support system, very great support. I love all my supporters. I love y'all, my fans who rock with me. Um, I get way more love. Hey, I really don't, you know, I'm really a natural person, so it just comes, you know what I'm saying? So I really don't see too much hate or anything. So I like it. I love it. I got some good people. <laughs> nah, that's good. That's a blessing. Yeah. Um, I want you to talk about the independent grind. Tell me some pros and cons from your perspective. Um... The pros is, well, well, the pros is like, you know, you get, you got your supporters, people who support you, so it make you feel good, that's the motivation. But you also got the cons where it's like, you feel like you're not popping enough because you so, well, you know you up here, you get what I'm saying, you set a type of goal for yourself, and you know like I'm hot, but I'm not getting the recognition mm. I'm getting, that's probably the only con for real, but other than that, like, I'm in my prime, I feel like, you know, everything just going so great. So I really ain't got too much bad to say, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> I got you, I got you. Um, now I want you to talk about overcoming some hardships. Um, so is it true that you are a cancer survivor? Yes, I am. So, you know, tell me what type of cancer did you have and talk about just that process of finding out that you had it and just going through it, the recovery. Yeah, I was, uh, it was back in 2016, I, I mean 17, excuse me. My brother passed away in 2016. Um, it actually started from a pregnancy, it's crazy. Mm. Uh, I was pregnant and the baby didn't conceive right. It was, it's, called a, it's called gestational trifoblastic disease. It's something where, it's like a molar pregnancy where the baby don't develop. It's like all these molars, like these circles that develop in your stomach, but it's, it don't really come from the man mm. or the woman. It's just something that happened. So. Um, I started bleeding, I thought I was having a miscarriage. I went to the hospital and they did an ultrasound and found out I was a molar pregnancy. They tried to get rid of it from like, I guess it's called a, like, it's like abortion. Mm. Cause it wasn't no baby, so they had to just suck all the tissue out. Jesus. Yeah. Um, and that didn't, they was waiting for my hormone levels to go down. My hormone levels was at a million. And uh, they was waiting for it to go down, they didn't go down. So then they was like, oh, it started spreading a little bit to my lungs. And I had to get on chemo. I was on a regimen with seven different chemotherapies and um, steroids and everything. Like, it was crazy. But I, st I never complained. I think that's what, you know, God seeing that, you know what I'm saying? I'm real spiritual, too. Uh, I never complained. I just prayed every day. Mm. And just every day took it, you know, day by day. And one day it was just like, oh, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So I rang that bell. But it was... Um, it was tough, but I think it made me strong. Well, it did make me stronger. Like six months, six, seven months, I had cancer from January 2017 to like August. Wow. Yeah, but you no know, stuff make you, hard times make you a better person. So that was something that like I overcame because I, like I told you, I had a great childhood. I really ain't been through too much. So that made me like appreciate life more. Mm -hmm. And it made me, you know, a lot of, you know how you see, you know how you go around, you see, fuck cancer and mm -hmm. breast cancer, you ignore it. Like I start paying attention more 
and seeing how it affect other people. So it's like, I really feel like for people who got cancer and uh, people who beat it, like, you know what I'm saying? So it just make you look at certain situations different. Got you, got you. I'm glad you got through that. Thank you so much, yeah. For sure. Thank you. Now, um, I gotta ask, you know, tell me what your love like, your love light is like, because you be talking that shit in your music. <laughs> I am single. Okay. Single, I'm on my grind. I ain't got time for love right now. I hear that. Yeah, I ain't got time for love right now at all. I mean, you know, you, Busy, you know, love will mess you up. You worried about what somebody doing? I ain't got no worries in the world. I feel so good. <laughs> okay. I don't know what tomorrow might bring, but today I'm single. Say that. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. You got to do what makes sense for you. Yeah. Um, so for the people that ain't tapped in yet, why should they listen to you? Because I'm versatile. I think that makes the most sense. Mm. I'm a very great songwriter, and I really rap. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm really hot. So I feel like, and I, um... You know, I be having messages in my music. Like you can, I talk about everything from me having cancer, like from growing up to, you know, just living in Philly, everything. So it's like, I feel like you're going to fuck with me. I feel like I'm, well, I am hot. So it's like, you know, I can do anything. I think that's what makes me who I am. Absolutely. Now, yeah. I'm fucking I'm with your problem. music. I'm a problem. I'm a problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking with that shit. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Now, I got this question I ask all of my guests. Um, usually, I ask them what the word progress means to them, but I'm going to ask you, how have you progressed as a person? Well, um, just understanding people more. I became, like, I used to be really, like, it's, it's like, judgmental. Because I feel like everybody judge. It's just what it is, because I can tell you something, you know what I'm saying, no matter if it's positive or negative, it's still judging you. I feel like I start to understand people from going through things, like I just went through something last year, and um, I'm talking about it, I have an EP dropping. Yes. February 1st, mm. it's called Trapped in My Hive, because I don't think people know me like that, because like I always say, I ain't been, you know a lot of people that make music go through a lot of stuff, but I feel like the little stuff I did, I did go through, I put it in a four, song EP, letting everybody know. But um, I feel like I just understand people more from just getting more into God and just, you know, understand where people come from and not just myself. So I just start understanding, like, being out more, because I'm real with my show. Mm. I don't party, I don't smoke, drink, or nothing, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sober vibes. I have, I'm the drug myself, so like nothing. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all, so. Cool. I was gonna ask you, when can we expect new music, so. Oh yeah, oh all right. I'm good. ahead of you, I'm sorry. Good, no, 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 yep. you're good. But I'm dropping, I'm just dropping, dropping, yeah. dropping, but just that, it's just an EP to throw out there for my fans, let them know who I am more. I don't think people really know, cause I like rap, I be all over the place. So it's just letting people know from like number one to four, who I am, where I come from, about my brother that passed away. I suffer from anxiety, you know, just mm. letting them know more about who I am so they can understand. I feel like it's important to understand who you are you know, your fans, you know, a lot of people don't know who rappers are because everybody living a lie want to be better than the next person. But I just want to tell y'all, like, this who I am. No, yeah. I respect that. Well, I, I definitely look forward to the project, you know, and I salute to you and your team for tapping in too. Like, yes, you know what I mean? Y'all just got to keep moving around. Yes, yes. We on the ball, man. We in Atlanta right now. Hell yeah. We're going to Miami, probably back to Atlanta home. Like, we just, we all over, man. We try to get out of here. You nah, know what I'm saying? that's what you're supposed to do. That's what yeah, you're we just to working, do. working, working, working. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I appreciate you skipping class with me. Let's get it. The Progress Report.